guys so here we go again i'm going to show you we're making this maxi dress so again guys this piece this is my measurement this bias piece and i made it out of a piece of the scuba diving fabric this is very important once you do your measurement and have this piece and you have your peak for your, your other part for a skirt or whatever or your your leggings and you do your measurement you'll use this over and over again and you'll change it up based off the shape so basically i want to show you guys See that? That's how that shape. All I did was fold that down, took it, and fold it down like that, guys. And then I took, connected it together, and then the back. See the back? You put it on the fold, so you're cutting on the fold. It's going to be one piece, and it'll be open for the back. And then... The measurements of the sleeves and remember how y'all want the sleeves you want the sleeves to be um a skinny sleeve you make it like that if you want it to be a wider sleeve you ex you expand it so these are so important so this is that maxi that everybody want everybody love these over crossing maxi so i'm gonna show y'all how it's made so i got my piece together and um on my dressmaking mannequin y'all can't see these two side seams okay there on each side of this dressmaking mannequin. So if you guys are interested in a mannequin like this, onimannequin.com is where I got this from, out of New York. So we're doing an overlapping maxi so when you walk, your legs will come through, okay? So I did two pieces. The first piece that I did, and I went a little over. These is my side, side seam, so I did a marking here. And I did a marking there. So I took a piece of fabric and I got it right here and I measured it like about 30 inches. So what I did, that's the back piece. So what I did, I took 30 inches and me, I like to take elastic and kind of give it that type of effect. So I did 30 inches wide and probably about 30 inches long. And this is the front piece. So this piece is smaller. So guys, you will find your center piece. This ain't on the mannequin right, but... If I had it lined up right. So this is the centerpiece. And I got a mark in here while I mark my centerpiece. So we're going to pin it there. And when we sew it, the elastic is not going to be, it's not going to be sewn on top. It's not going to be sewn on top. It's going to be sewn underneath where you're not going to see this ruffle elastic. It's going to be sewn into the fabric. So you won't see it like how I'm pinning it. But I just wanted to show y'all how to get this shape. How, how to get this maxi to do this. I just wanted y'all to see. Because I remember when I first was making these. I'm like, how do they get in? How does it look so great? And da 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 Yeah. So the longer you want your maxi, you cut it longer. So as you can see, I will connect. The, my top piece first sew it on to here okay so just imagine that it's sewn all right so just imagine that piece will be sewn down right that's the maxi now i will take another piece and this one is about 40 inches wide and 30 inches long okay so then i take it and we connect it here so right here that's how we get that opening so i'm gonna overlap it a little bit right here so you see when you be seeing the, the maxi if y'all can see have that that opening and then i'm gonna do the other side same thing right here and i'll put it on top And I'm folding over to kind of hide the, the raw edge. And this fabric does not fray. But the, the, the weight of this fabric is like maybe like t-shirt fabric. Which I like my maxis to be a little more thicker than this fabric. I really don't. I, and I picked this off a line. So I wasn't able to determine it. Because I didn't really read the description 
and I'm getting better with that guys like I'm not like a hundred percent like like I know all the fabrics and the names and what stuff is called and stuff like that I just know what I'm looking for so if that if that makes sense but I'm not that great why but oh this is this I actually wanted to work in a fabric store to get that experience so that I can be that good because I go to the fabric store they be, oh that's rayon that's lacquer that's polyester that's cotton that's you know woven that's you know and they know they stuff and they know that from experience and working in a fabric store so that would be how we would create these maxis so when you have that center so when you walk and we overlap it you're going to overlap it over the back piece over the top of each one of these and it's hard to pin pins in this mannequin so therefore when you walk your legs will come out so that's how you make these maxi so i hope that this video helps somebody and y'all learn something today guys so i wanted to kind of show y'all but let me get out of the way make sure gino ain't right there because he'll be right there and i'll run him over just stay right there gino it's cool i just want to show them the dress bay you don't got to get in this video you can get in the next video okay the next one this one ain't for you buddy so guys that is the dress and um yeah so i hope you guys are having an awesome saturday i wanted to come on and bring you guys some exciting stuff so guys when somebody asks me what do you do for fun like what do you like to do i love to create you know god gave me gifted hands and this is what i love to do i love to take nothing and turn it into something just to be able to take something so beautiful and put it together this this is my passion making clothes you know touching shoes making reborns doing all this type of stuff like i really love creating i want to show y'all one of my babies <laughs> i got a lot of babies we'll do another video at a later date but just the art of creating something <laughs> so beautiful like i am i am so grateful that god have uh gave me this gift so I, I say when you put your mind to it look at him he is absolutely adorable so when you put your mind to it you can definitely do any and everything that you desire just to be able to make these beautiful babies i am grateful so grateful oh he need his hair done my baby hair is messed up but yes just to make some of the most beautiful things in the world look at him guys <laughs> his hair is a little from laying up there but i am so grateful and thankful that you know god gave me these gifted hands and i can make these beautiful babies and um so make clothes so again guys like i say people you know people see you online and they assume that they know you but i am truly an introvert um, i am not at all a people person this is what i like to do i like to have crafts and stuff that i can work on and every now and again you know my sister my nephew them they give events and i'll show up for family stuff but really this is stuff that i enjoy doing i enjoy being solo dolo and creating amazing things and stuff like that and i love making these reborns i love making clothes i love making just everything, just anything. I, I, I say God gave me gifted hands, but one thing that I enjoy the most is showing you guys how to create something. And I'm trying to learn better how to, you know, make it where it's understandable. But like once you make that bias piece, once I learn in sewing that, especially when it's for me, but even, even that bias piece, I can create somebody else something because I'm going to follow the measurements. But those bias pieces is very important. Once you create that, you keep that and you'll have to have a, like some people have a whole bunch of patterns and a lot of stuff. I don't have all that because it's like, I realized when I learned the art of this is the key to making clothes, you don't need a whole bunch of that. And if you're making them for you, unless your weight goes up and down, but anyway, just do your measurement. You can add to it or whatever, but Thank you guys for watching and I feel comfortable. Like you had to go into a place where you feel comfortable, you feel safe. Cause honestly you could be on the internet and these people are so aggressive and you can get to the point where you don't feel safe. You don't feel comfortable. So yes, guys, I'm not for sure if I'm going to join back on to TikTok or 
uh, Instagram. Instagram, I have not deactivated my page. For some reason, I was trying to find and deactivate. I didn't see it. So I logged out, never logged back in. And TikTok, I deactivated. I don't know if I want to go back because I think that they the, the songs, the music, and I like that stuff. I think it gives people a different perception about me. And then I find myself trying to defend myself. So it's like, I guess I'm creating an atmosphere. I'm listening to this raunchy music. I'm dancing a certain kind of way. And it gives a person a perception about me. And they believe it. I, I just had to really um, think about it. I had actually didn't like Steve Harvey. And because um, I thought that he was like a bad person. But that wasn't even my belief. I listened to what I hear, the, the, his ex-wife and this stuff. But I finally, yesterday, I listened to Steve Harvey. And I realized he is an amazing man, very smart, very brilliant. And, you know, he loves his wife. And he can admit, yes, when I got married back then, I wasn't ready for marriage. I, I didn't have my life together. I wasn't capable of being nobody husband. So that's a key piece. So he was able to own that. I wasn't capable of being nobody's husband. But he's saying today he's a better man. And it's Marjorie. You know, he's a better man. And he loved different, different than any wife that he ever had. So... I had to sit back and like, wow, I misjudged him based off of something I heard and I ran with it. So the same thing, how people can hear something or assume something about me and they can take it and they can run with it. And if they had that perception of you, that's what it is. But perception ain't always reality. You know, people can, you know, show you something and that's not always a reality. But guys, I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. But this is the, the stuff that I love to do and I'm over here doing it and I hope that my videos are reaching the right people where it's people that have the desire to do something. Remember, you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything on God's green planet. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome Saturday. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, finishing results of that maxi. And you see when you line it up, one, two, three, Four. so that right here is when you overlap it it would always have that open so naturally when you're walking your legs will one two three four five so just always walking because the way it's lined up your leg will automatically come out so um if you don't want that then I would say just do a whole bottom um, going around your waist and close it off. But I like the fact of having that little, I think that that is so sexy where you can, you know, take a picture and either leg, you know, you can have. And then if you stand still, that's kind of how it looks standing still. So I hope that this, you guys follow the steps and you can make a beautiful maxi dress. Toodles.